And we continue with the Shield semifinals today, day three of the Rugby Town 7 Series. British Columbia Bears getting set to take on another military representative's United States Marine Corps. Katie Worsting, Christian Miles. You know, we saw U.S. Marines put on quite a show early on here. However, a couple of hiccups thereafter. How can they rebound today against a very good team from British Columbia? I think this Canadian squad is going to bring a lot of talent and something that the Marines have really been going from strength to strength. They had a close contest, was able to put away the Coast Guard, Air Force and Navy. They've been closer than the scores would indicate. So we'll take a look here at some of these individuals. Jacob Bourne is one to watch. Certainly some great things from Grant Penny, Cody Asbury, and on the side for British Columbia, you've got to take a look at individuals like Jacob Bourne, Brock Gallagher, and Kano Lloyd as well. They've been just carving it up all Ooh, right. weekend long. Now Marines Got you, Alvy. losing right. out on their last four games. Gregor McDonald in charge here. British Columbia coming up short to Gorilla in a thriller in the quarterfinal, 22-19. They lost on a last try. On Deontay McMurray and Evan Conlon, what off. a performance it was for Gorilla. Time is off. That's enough. So I have number eight green, taking a player in the air, landing on a side. Yep. Do you agree with those facts? Absolutely. I believe that is worthy of a yellow card. Do you concur? Yep. Eight green. Wow. Bad news here, Katie. Steven Uliel, yellow card. They'll go down to six. Yeah, he landed on the side. Marines just landing on the side. You heard it from the referee. Assistant referee, and they definitely concur on this result. So it'll be BC Bears with their first piece of possession today. Yup. Forward pass. And that forward pass there, just a little off on the timing. BC Bears getting the idea that they're up one man, want to get it to the outside. And maybe a little overzealous. Got to keep that depth. Crunch. It's about 90 seconds left Five. on the power play. We give you the bird's eye view from our drone footage. Set. Brings an extra dimension. Bringing you the best rugby town. Oh. Seven's action here from Glendale. On the tap as it comes out for John Keels. And here comes the Marine Corps. Trying to pry open this defense for the first time, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Down to six. My goodness, that is a huge try for Cody Asbury, who's been doing it all tournament for the Marine Corps, his third at Rugby Town Sevens. That was just a purely beautiful setup, even playing down a man, and the U.S. Marines say we're going to go right at him. Hey, the best way to defend is to attack. So just really great heads up by Don Keels as well, knowing exactly where his support player is. And phenomenal finish. Cody Asbury saw the opportunity. He just read the defense beautifully like a book. And the kip no good from the infantry captain. But a man who had to be coerced into playing rugby and now really enjoying it said, you know what? I wish I'd learned this game a little earlier in my life and really flourishing now in his 11th season. You look at the scenes from rugby town here on day three. After the conversion, it's the Marine Corps in this Shield semifinal up Bounced. five to nothing, and that one takes the bounce in favor of the court. Hancock leaves it wide to the right hand side. He'll be playing in that fly half role today. Mac McAllister, one of the oldest players on this Marines team, still going at 35 years young. And it's a lot of gas left in that tank. And here come the core. They are up for it today, I tell you. Keels. It was so instrumental in that try moments ago for Asbury. And they'll reverse direction. And utilizing their power. Advantage. Impressive. And the advantage, the takeaway. And here come advantage the over. Canadians. The backhanded offload. An advantage. And a little bit of a numerical advantage, I say, down this right hand side. And it's a first to base. He just might do it. That's Gabe Smith, the Toronto man, with the Pacific Pride in the Canada under 18, blazing on a 50 meter try. And the immediate reply from the BC Bears. Gabe Schmidt, he just did a phenomenal job of timing his receipt of that wraparound pass. You got to commit the defender, pin him, and create some space to the outside. This was BC in transition. They did a phenomenal job. It was that early tackle that just jarred the ball loose. And Gabe Ten. Smith off to the races. Born in Toronto, raised in Whitby, living in British Columbia now. Conversion pretty simple. And it will be BC Bears with their first lead of the day. 
here at four minutes into this one. And how about that run from Gabe Smith? Impressive stuff, plays some club ball with Pacific Pride. He's got size, he's got speed, and they've got the lead. Christian, that's the momentum shift that the BC Bears really needed. US Marines were pouring it on, high effort, and now we'll see how they recover. So the Marine Corps on the take there from Charles Butterfield. Long pass to Nick Hancock. Danny Vega as it's back to full strength at 7v7. Here's that scrum half penny for Hancock once again, who's such a prominent feature of this Marines attack. He'll skip it over for Asbury. He finds his way wide to the right-hand side for Mac McAllister. You know the damage he could do, and it requires two bears to bring him down. Nope. Penny. Just a look to the outside, and that's a good hold now. They try to find that corner on this left flank. Tackle! And you see the raw brute strength of this Marines team coming through. Grant Penny. Hancock has some options, and it's an overhead offload. A little bit difficult and risky, but Ulio, who's yellow card a moment to go, goes straight up and bulldozes one BC Bear. Good spell of possession this for the representatives from the U.S. military, and it will be Grant Penny off an offload from Hancock. No one's going to catch little Grant Penny, who stands tall above all others, and the United States Marine Corps answer right back and reclaim the lead. Christian, we heard that call for the ball from Penny all the way up here in the booth. Just really phenomenal work, knowing where you had the opportunity. He saw the lane and he went for it. But it was a really great setup by Nick Hancock as well. Just to have awareness of where your support is, that's what matters quite a bit. So the conversion is good. That makes it 12 to seven in favor of the core. Grant Penny from Sacramento with his third try. Here at Rugby Town Sevens, he's part of that old breed setup that wasn't the official Marines team last year, but boy, they are really happy to have him back. Former UCLA Bruin, shining brightly here for the, for the Marine Corps. Now we'll see what's in the tank for BC Bears. Yes. Knock on. Knock on. Knock on. Nope. That's a really tough knock on there. Phenomenal effort. Ethan Hager trying to just do what he can to move the ball quickly. Just slipped out of his hands. Blue, 21, off. There's the pickup. Gentlemen. He's looking to make the pass before he actually had the ball in his hands. I mean, you get the sentiment you want to move the ball wide as quick as you can, but that's just an error that certainly would have liked to have had back. So Smith will come off. A little change in that wing. Some fresh legs after Smith made that lung buster of a run, but it'll be a Marines ball. Hancock, oh, this is a crafty, no. clever work try if he can get in. Hancock's done well, reverses against the grain. Nick Hancock shifting gears, he's a Ferrari. My goodness, as he no. revved to life, and Hancock's been at the center of so much. No. Good to see him get that try. Nick Hancock's been absolutely deadly in attack. He set up Penny on the last one. You gotta love just that little show and go. There's the look at it. Really, truly sold that idea that he was going to make the pass. Instead, just carved it up, went right around the defense. And you know he's reaching to the crowd because he loved that one. That was just pure skill. Well, his son Marcus is here. He traveled all the way to see his dad play his first try here at Rugby Town. And it comes at a very crucial time because that is a sucker punch as we get close to the break here at halftime. One more roll of the dice for BC Bears, perhaps. Good take. And they get the take away. Well done by Brock Gallagher. Unfortunately, then he gave it away in that contest, but credit to the Marines for fighting back for it. Gallagher just lightning quick off the ground going to contest. They've got a good one here. It's a good start for Army. Nice response from Smith. And then back to back tries from Penny and Hancock. This man leaves it off. Julio. Julio trying to round that left side. It's a big pass. It won't quite make it. Bounces nicely into the arms of Don Keels. Mac McAllister looking for the grubber. And it's taken away here by BC Bears. Claimed beautifully by the number 10, Jacob Board. 
Just in from the side, you gotta go through the gate. BC Bears certainly gonna accelerate. They'll go for the quick tap now and work it to this right-hand side for Keegan Neary. Here's Bourne. Oh, Bourne trying to get around Penny. Oh, behind the back, but it's stolen away. Picked off by Nick Hancock. The off interception off of the uh, basketball around the back upload attempt. Jacob Bourne almost pulled that off, just went to the wrong color jersey. Hey, that would have been the offloads of the tournament, but it didn't quite come off. And Nick Hancock and company really roaring to life after a brief comeback there from BC Bears. They get tries in the first half from Asbury, Penny, and Hancock. Our halftime score, it'll be the Marines on top, 19 to seven over BC Bears. Wintergreen offers a complete range of topical analgesic and joint support products to aid athletes and sports enthusiasts. Wintergreensport.com. Out. In. Out. Hey, boys, keep it up, man. Hey, we're doing, this is how we play our game. We're finally getting together and we're playing, we're having fun. My, my thing is, hey, hey, look at the clock, guys. Don't try out. No, don't think we're good, that good. We want to play. Time's expired. We get that ball out. That's what, that's, we stick to the game plan. Let's go. Let's go. I, like, I don't mind you guys scaring them a little bit, but then turn around and keep the ball out. Let's go. Hey, let's work it. Hey, same pace. Same pace. All right. Don't, Message is simple there, Katie. Stick to the plan. Yeah, really just great words from Coach George Malini. Don't do anything different. It's working for us. Take a couple of breaths, look up, see how things are going well for you. And that's the beauty of playing sevens here at this Rugby Town Sevens tournament. And truly, the Marines are just in the driver's seat for this one. And the kids enjoying a pretty good seat themselves here at Infinity Park. BC Bears, you know, trailing U.S. Marine Corps. Let's take a look back at some of the better moments of the first half. And this was when they were down to six men, as you see Asbury rumble in. And but there was an answer. BC Bears, they came back for this one. Really, they needed to, to stick into this contest. And there was some really great work from Gabe Smith. It was just blistering pace towards the outside. But then Army would have back-to-back -back tries. It kind of gave BC Bears a taste of their own medicine right up the guts. Grant Penny with a big try. And then that finish with Nick Hancock. He just absolutely earned every, every inch of that. That's where we stand. Second half is in play. Marines in possession now, trying to build upon a real strong performance here in the first half, looking for their first win since Back. the first game in pool play when they defeated Coast Guard 19 to 12. Stop, stop, sorry. And once again, it's Penny. The guy is just everywhere. One of those pesky presences you don't want to play against. It's such an integral part of this Marine Corps setup. A2, my bone on that. Rep was playing advantage for a bit, and then the knock-on happened. We'll get set for a set piece. This has been such an open, expansive, free-flowing match. We haven't had too many scrubs. Let's we'll see what happens of this set piece. AC Bears, Coach. as though they were headed for good things Fine. with wins over Tel Aviv and SoCal Griffins stumbled Kirpus. against US set. under 23s in Gorilla. That's where they find themselves here. Brock Gallagher trying to find a way back now to the number 10, Jacob Bourne. And Jacob Bourne is going to rock all the way into the dry zone. No mistake, BC Bears roaring back. They are far from out of this one. Thank you. Jacob Bourne, he knew exactly the space he had to work with. That's just a solid set piece. It really creates a great platform for BC to launch their attack. Jacob Bourne does the honors on that conversion as well. And very much the Canadians still hanging on. A cross border rivalry going on. Men in the armed forces and the boys from British Columbia. It's a five point game. Here's why. That's just a well worked set. And also, nice little show and go as well, just to finish it off. But you couldn't ask for a better answer here for BC in the second half. If they can keep up this momentum, there certainly could be a momentum shift. Yeah, exactly how you want to start the second half. So the kick is good. And up, Penny leaves it wide. Here's Iulio on that left-hand side. Hancock. Had that try just before halftime to lift their Taco. spirits. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a steal away. A strong hit right at that front row by Kainoa Lloyd. And it will be Bears ball. Here's Bourne. We just found the try zone. Thinking about another one. He's hungry for more. A ravenous appetite that these Bears have. 
And they got some fresh legs coming in from Malloy. Provides the pace and the power. And how about the skills? Fancy footwork. He tap dances his way through that front row and glides in unencumbered. BC Bears with back to back tries here at the beginning of the second half. I know a Lloyd. Just, uh, you gotta love just that stutter step as well. Just through the defense for a loop. And truly, BC in a good place on the time. front foot going forward. Thank you. Broke a tackle as well on the way. Eight tries for Kainoa Lloyd, amongst the best here in rugby town. He is an absolute machine. Played for the San Diego Legion in Major League Rugby this term. Some time with the Toronto Arrows time as, where, as well. Three, five off. And a guy that scored two tries in the game three times so far. One of the danger Subject men here. Complete. Time is on. Save him for the second half as we see a substitution coming in here for the United States Marine Corps. And they'll bring on the likes of David Argenta wearing the number 10. Don Keels takes the seat, earns a good rest. That's oh. edge. Green knock. That's going to be a knock against Marine Corps. Kind of that advantage. Another critical scrum here. We saw them, BC really create a try scoring opportunity off of it a little bit further out, but that's got to be an adjustment that the re Marines are going to make as we see where that knock on occurred. Coach! Well, at 12 point Bind. deficit has evolved into a two point advantage in the space of Set. a couple of minutes here. BC Bears back on top. Early push. Scrum. Gallagher quickly out, has the support of Bourne and a little bluff. He's a crafty runner and uses it really well. The substitute, Ethan Hager, all the way forward down that right inside. Hager, you betcha. Time is off. Seatbelt tackle. But Ethan Hager getting into that try zone and a perfect time here for the man from British Columbia. His fourth try, on the try at the rugby try scored. I believe there may have been obstruction. Do you believe that that obstruction was material? Understood. All good on grounding. And the try is awarded. Potentially would have been maybe seatbelt tackle, possible obstruction. But it looks like the grounding is good. That's that's certainly not in question. So three consecutive tries in the space of four minutes. Here for Kaino Lloyd and this BC Bears team. Talk about saving your best for last. Truthfully, and Brock Gallagher, he was really just on it right as soon as that free kick went up. He knew exactly where he wanted to go and orchestrated that great attacking moment. 26 19 score line. Subs. Time is off. With the no call for the Marines as well, too, it would have been Sub devastating Clark, to play down a man again for the yellow, but went away from that. BC Bears empty have a comfortable lead. Yeah, they empty their bench. They'll bring on the number three, Cal Sager, and the number 11, Shane Mickley Crindle. So Marines now, if ever they needed a response, this would be the time. Grant Penny has been one of their big leaders. Uh, just a routine mistake there as it was dropped by Donovan Bates. That's perfect. Went to play the advantage, but we'll go back. Yeah, I did, and that's why I back on. Just that bit of that frustration. Hey, guys. Shifting the, the depth. Yeah. Thank you. Sevens is so crucially about timing, making sure that you can run onto the ball. What's the weight of the pass when you need it? And a tough moment for a big scrum. Set. So it will be BC Bears scrum. Gallagher to put in. Bourne finds his way to the fresh legs for Rickley Crindle. Back on that inside channel no for Bourne. Good defending from Marine Corps, but they go with a quick tap. Kainoa Lloyd, you know he's got the fangs to bite. Back 10, on your line, please. And a series no of penalties, not releasing the tackle player originally, no you have to get back 10, making sure the retreat is fully all that 10 meters. Now you may, now you may. They go quick. Born Lloyd, who else? But Kaino Lloyd. This man is absolutely unstoppable. And for the fourth time here at Rugby Town, he has scored two tries in a game. Absolutely incredible. Born and Lloyd just saw that evolve yes. even no, before the whistle we'll went off. 
Just a ton of mounting pressure on attack. A little bit too much for the Marines. Now yeah, this one has been turned on its head. Simple on the conversion. Good for Bourne. So that will put it 33 to 19. This is an Army, or a Marines team rather, that found themselves up by 12 at the break. But just incredible stuff Last play. for BC Bears in the second half. Got to give some credit to this younger squad here for BC. The Canadians have really just kept their poise and control as they went through the match. Able to shift the momentum and make a big impact. Kaino and Lloyd, the top try scorer here at Rugby Town with nine. Chance for some of the substitutes to get a piece of the action here for Marine Corps. Final minute, you already heard the horn sound. The substitutes as well coming on for BC Bears with this one already done and dusted pretty much. Gallagher, key contributor throughout this Rugby Town series. It'll drop into the arms of Jackson Jones, born. King Smith got things started in the first half for BC Bears. This one into touch. And that's going to do it. And the final score, BC Bears come roaring back. Four tries in the second half. And they march on to the Shield final as they get to take on, get set to take on Germany. The final, 33-19 as BC Bears march on to the final in Shield.